Okay, welcome to today's lesson on quantifiers. Um, this is something which they very often test. Uh, there's bound to be two or three questions in part two. Part two is the part where we have a missing word each time on each sentence. So, um, firstly, much and many, little and few. Um, you should all know, definitely remember this for the exam, much is uncountable and many is countable. Little is uncountable and few is countable. So, how much time, how much money, remember time and money are uncountable. How much traffic, how much patience do you have? Yeah, um, I have very few, I don't know, very few friends. I have very little time. Um, so friends would be a good example of countable. Yeah, um, so we usually use these for negatives and questions. I mean much and many here. They're usually used for negatives and questions and we usually use lots of or a lot of for positive, but not always, it's not always true. You can, if you start the sentence with many people, many academics, many scientists, then uh, it's very common actually to start with many in a positive sentence. But generally we use th these for negatives and questions, so how much, how many. So let's quickly do some questions. Very <coughs> people came to visit. Now I mean here not many. If we mean not many, we don't say very little people because very little people means very small people. We say very few people. Okay? Very few people came to visit. We rushed as we had very, now I mean not much again. We had very little time. Okay? I want you to remember that very little or very few it's stronger than a few or a little. It means almost nothing. It means hardly any, which is another word which they test on, on uh, part two of the FCE. So be aware, hardly any, it means almost nothing. Okay, lastly, how much money do you have? Yeah, how much money? Because money is uncountable. Okay, secondly, some or any. Okay, we use some usually in positive and any in negative and questions. We can use any in a positive sentence. We can say, well, where do you want to go? Anywhere, I don't mind. And we don't say somewhere there, we say anywhere because any means it doesn't matter which one. It's not important which one. Um, but if we take a sentence like this, he doesn't have, it's negative, so we need any patience. We can use any with countable or uncountable. The same with some. We can use it with countable or uncountable. Okay, next one. Either or, either A or B. It means this one or this one. Neither nor, it means not this one, uh, not A and not B. Yeah, neither A nor B. And then both, which means A plus B together. Yeah, A and B together. Okay, so if we do some some of these sentences, he doesn't have any patience. I don't either. It means I also have no patience. I don't either. But you don't have to say I don't either. You could say neither do I, which is an auxiliary verb reply to this sentence. He doesn't have any patience, neither do I. It means I also have no patience. He doesn't have any patience, I don't either. It's the same as neither do I, because this has the negative here and then you use the either. So it's the same as neither do I. Okay? Now, if we want to say maybe he's French, maybe he's Spanish, I'm not sure, we say he's either, yeah, A or B. He's either French or Spanish. He's either A or B. Um, now, if you want to say that he's definitely not French and he's definitely not Spanish, then you say he is neither French nor Spanish. So we can change that to the negative, but it's a very different meaning. Okay, and we can also put either at the end, just like here we did. I don't know him and my wife doesn't either. Now we can change that sentence. We can say, I don't know him and neither does my wife. Yeah? Neither does my wife. 
Okay, so there's two ways we can do that sentence. Um, okay, and both would be just uh, both of us don't know him. In the last lesson, I got a good question about neither, by the way. None of us, it means more than two. It's when you're talking about three or four or five or 50 or 5,000. But none of, uh, sorry, neither of us, we always use for when we're talking about not A nor B. So when we're talking about two, we always say neither of us. But when we're talking about more, we say none of us. Okay, um, two and enough. Okay, this coffee is too hot. We can say two plus adjective. It means, you know, too much, too hot. But we can also say this coffee isn't hot enough. Now, please always put an adjective on this side of enough. It goes before enough. It's not hot enough. It's not warm enough. It's not cold enough. But if we're talking about a noun, I don't have enough money enough goes before a noun okay i hope you remember that enough goes before nouns but after adjectives okay lastly we'll look at more or less and we'll look at some comparisons and some intensifiers okay i'm sorry it's a bit messy on the board but it's just what we'll have to work with okay we can say um he or this car is more expensive yeah more expensive or we could say less expensive than and please remember than because again it's a word which they often test on this part we can say this car is much more expensive we can say this car is a bit more expensive or a bit less expensive we can say this car is far more expensive we can say that it is a lot more expensive okay and we can still we can go further we can say it's slightly for when you want to say a little bit a little bit more expensive slightly more expensive um, so there's lots of different ones we can use here and uh, we can also use as expensive but now we need different ones for if you want to say this hotel is as expensive as last year okay um, then we need as expensive as as adjective as and we can say it's almost as expensive um, we can say it's not quite as expensive and we can say it's nearly as expensive like almost and just as expensive meaning the same it's the same it's just as expensive as last year okay um just ma make it clear that it's exactly the same okay if you have any questions about any of these uh, quantifiers please ask me and um i hope that you enjoyed the video and uh, i hope to see you all soon